Hello, welcome to the Paper Snob. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Today I am going to be working with my very first Peace Craft Love Creative Ambassadors kit. We are doing a Christmas in July themed kit this month and I will have it linked up below for you so that you can go check it out on the, on the site. So let's get started. First, I have pre-cut down some of my patterned papers and I'm going to glue them down. I chose the black plaid and the red tone on tone plaid to form the base of my layout. And I'm just going to line it up here, I'm eyeballing it and just trying to get it as even as possible. the stocking printed paper down to about six by eight and I'm gonna just stick it right there on my paper I'm gonna move it over to the right a little bit I'm gonna use this as a mat for my photo the solid green cardstock I'm gonna actually mat the photo with this is a photo of my oldest daughter she was born in December and the nurses sent her home in that humongous stocking when she was a newborn. And I take a picture of her holding it every single year. And this is the photo for 2014. I'm going to put about an eighth of an inch mat behind this photo. I'm gonna trim it just by eye. I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing everything there. And I just, I also want to go ahead and say that this stocking in the photo isn't the stocking that we hang up each year. It's just one that I saved from when she was a baby. We just take a picture of her with it every year, or we did when she still lived at home. I think I probably got this at a dollar store. It's just something for my stash that I added to bring a little bit more separation from the photo and the background paper. I also used the green cardstock from the kit to create a title. Um, I cut out the word traditions from um, or with my cameo. Being very careful to pull it off my mat here. Um, I don't want it to rip. This cardstock is a tad bit um, thinner than what I usually cut on my, with on my Cameo, but it cut perfectly, so I'll have to keep that in mind. I liked how it cut. I was going to try to cut down the pocket card and use just the word Christmas as part of my, as part of my title, but I didn't like how it cut out, and so I set it aside, and I'm building another part of the layout. I used my Big Shot and a couple of dies that I have to make a journaling spot and the little black label to add to this layout. The black label is a Spellbinders die kit that I did purchase from Peace Craft Love and if it's still in stock I'll add it in the links below so that you can grab it if you'd like. I have decided to use the title Merry Christmas Traditions on this page and I'm gonna lightly lay this word Mary from the thicker sheet that came in our kit um, so that I can decide where to place it. I really love these thickers. They're gold and shiny and just pretty and they bring a lot to a page. I decided that after laying my, ti my title word Mary that I was going to just move things around and kind of get things where I want them and then I'm going to start adding some little bits and pieces to the layout to, to embellish it somewhat. I add some pieces from the thicker sheet. I really like the little tiny hearts and the mistletoe on it and they just make great additions to my, my layout. I decided to take 
take the 25 off the thicker sheet and add it to that little tiny black label at the bottom of my journaling spot. Decided it looked really cute there. And since I don't do December daily, I like to try to use the numbers from Christmas thicker sheets as much as possible. I'm gluing down my photo and the doily and stuff now. I'm gonna move things around again and make sure I get everything where I want it. Um, and we'll just keep gluing and adhering and moving until I get things to look exactly the way I want. Fresh Studio set of ephemera. I save the backing from their ephemera and sticker and other um, packages because they're usually placed on grid paper and I like to make journaling spots out of them. So that's where that particular piece of paper came from. outline with a gold gel pen and I did that off screen. I also added foam dots to the back of it so that it would pop up a little bit and give some depth to my layout. I'm moving it around just a little bit here to, to make sure I have room for the word Mary. You're going to see that I try to stick that word that I cut out from the pocket card. I didn't like it and I end up setting the word aside and you'll see what I do with the pocket card in a minute. layout is I poked some holes and I did some stitching around the red mat background and I added my sequins on the bottom to a border that I stitched along the bottom of the journaling spot. I also pulled out my Prima watercolors and I splattered gold watercolor paint on the layout. so that you can see some more of the details of my layout. Um, I'm really tickled with the stitching along the bottom. I will also make sure that I include the links to the kit on Peacecraft Love so that you can create your very own Christmas in July layout. Have a great day and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I appreciate all of my new subscribers. Thanks so much. <music>